What's going on, everybody? Uh, I thank God for everybody, and um, uh, I'm slowly, maturely starting to recover a little bit. Lost a little weight, uh, just eating just little things from time to time, you know, little vegetables and eggs or whatever for my protein. Just can't eat nothing, you know, too crazy or fried or anything like that because my stomach would start to easily get triggered. And they got me on this medication for a while. It's going to take up to six weeks, but praying to God that, you know, It'll take less than that that I'll be back to normal. But slowly but surely, uh, progress is working. And tell you guys, it's been it's been it's been a fight. You know, losing my auntie and then you know losing Chanel at the time. Uh, just going through a lot of just different things right now. And you know, well, on top of that, going through mind battles and different struggles as a Christian. Uh, you know, trying to stay in my word, but it's been a fight. And um, you know, and then now you got this little thing that's coming against my body, which I know is the enemy throwing this stuff out of nowhere to do whatever he can try to do to try to stop me, to, to completely slow me down. And so, um, and I would just remember, you know, I was able to, you know, get some sleep. And I just remember last night, and one thing for sure I've noticed, you know, I, I wound up in, in, in some kind of dream. And, um, and I just, for some reason, I was just standing up and just, and it's just like all of a sudden my neck started to get very tight, very like just really tight. Like I just felt like something was wrapped around my neck and it was just trying to squeeze me, like squeeze, like almost trying to squeeze the life out of me. And uh, and I believe it was that spirit of uh, the Python, uh, the Python spirit, which uh, I heard from a woman of God, very, very great woman of God. And she really hears from the Lord uh, that, that this is a uh, she may teach upon it a little bit more. Uh, I may give you her, uh, I may put her YouTube channel in a description so you can check her out. Very great woman of God. But uh, she was talking about the spirit of Python, which it goes around and it chokes out a lot of, uh, you know, Christians. From, and, and, that, and it makes you tired, because that's what the devil tries to do. This Python, it comes to choke you out to basically to get you to, I, I want to say, basically to get you to a place where you know you know why you've been feeling so tired that you couldn't read your Bible. You ain't you've been feeling so tired uh, to uh, get up on your knees and actually pray to God or just get in a place with God. Period. Uh, because you know you got all these distractions, different things, and sometimes your body just don't want to do it because this flesh don't want to do anything. And so when I was just sitting there, I'm just like, man, this thing is really tugging me. But I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. I was able to get one word out, and that was Jesus. And when I caught up on Jesus, that thing loosened off of me, and it became, it was already becoming like being in my hand. And I was able to just cast it away. I tell guys, I tell y'all all this all the time. When you call up on the name of Jesus, something has to happen. The devil's tremble of the name of Jesus. And I just want to truly thank God for what he's truly brought me from. Because that thing could have totally choked me out. I even felt the sensation even after I woke up. I felt the sensation of it. But it's completely gone now because I told God to heal it. And so I'm just going to just to get up on and tell you guys. These is, this is what I mean when I talk about the real peoples are the ones that's being attacked more than anything. That's why I say when I see all these people up on social media, they're compromising. Oh, you want to make money by giving motivational speeches and making money by just just giving itchy ear messages and stuff and you wonder why they're taking off and growing so quick uh, uh, uh more fast than anything because nine out of ten they don't have an anointing because when you have something with god and when you have been in a place with god you will start you will you will see them grow slowly because why because the enemy is trying to do whatever he can do to stop whether it's the platform whether it's a church wherever move of god that that you want to move in your life and then you see and it just seems like you're going to a brick wall that is the enemy and he's trying to find any kind of way to stop you from cancel you for from from you even reaching a lot of people and that's what's been going on with me even though slowly, maturely, God has been growing, you know, my Facebook, uh, not my Facebook, but my YouTube, I've been checking the analytics and I'm like, man, the Lord is really blessing. So, you know, f so if, if there's some new subscribers that's up on here. I thank God for you. This is the Bold One Ministry. Uh, uh, yeah, it's the Bold One's Ministry. And uh, I, well, we welcome you here and we thank God for you. And hopefully you'll be able to see our future videos that, you know, that will come up. But guys, yeah, I've been really going through a lot. So yeah, that was just a, a really spiritual warfare. That was a spiritual attack right there. 
and um and it just really it just really let me know you know that i was starting to slack even though i was starting to get a little bit more strength but i didn't take advantage of that strength to get in a place with god so upon that that was pretty much half of it was on my fault but at the same time it had to happen for a reason so i could acknowledge this so i can tell y'all guys this to you know to be more be more aware Stay in a place with God fast. Read your word. Uh, take time out of your day to get in a place with God because this is what the devil tried to do. He used social media and all these different things. That's why to say watch out for the devil's devices because he used these things to take your mind and take you off of everything else to get you to focus on what he's doing. And once he got you focused on what he's doing and not what God is doing in your life, then he can come in and do whatever he wants. And so, and and just in that moment, man, I'm telling you, it, I mean, that thing was, man, it was trying to really choke me out. I mean, it really was trying to choke me out, but I was able to say Jesus. And once I said Jesus, something happened. And I'm just like, Father, God, I thank you. Because that thing could have took me out. But I thank God for his Holy Spirit. See, and then, you know, people get, you know, can, can, uh, you know, like, like they were talking about, you know, different Christians, you know, being attacked and stuff. See, this is what I mean when I say you, this year, you're going to see who's really for God. You're going to really, truly see who is for God and who God is really standing with. You know, some of these people, you know, just like when the pandemic and all that stuff came out, you know, you got all these people preaching about faith and messages about faith. And I believe God and this and that. Then when then when the pandemic and all that stuff came, everybody ceased. Everybody, everybody was nowhere to be found. They was hiding behind fig leaves, masks, everything. They were hiding on everything. You, but that was the time you were supposed to stand. That was the time when the church was supposed to rise. And so this is what I'm saying now. I see why the Bible say. He give us the power to trip on scorpions and stuff because I thank God because that scripture came to me. He gave he's given us the power. But what what are we doing with it? That's the part. What are we doing with it? And so we need to get back to rebuke it. We need to get back to praying against this stuff. Because the devil, he's he's that's the way he's coming. He's coming bold and we got to be strong. The more we stay, the more we stay in prayer, the more we stay in fasting, the more we stay in communication with God. These things will never come against us. It will never will. Now, it doesn't mean that from time to time, you know, the enemy going to come up against us, whether it's through people or through your mind. And, and I said this many a times. If the devil can't get you to can't get you to sin, he's always going to try to put stress upon you, depression, anxiety. Or he'll try to come into you. He'll try to come into your dreams. You know, he tries to find any kind of way to mess with you. But at the same time, he has to go get permission from God at, at the end of the day. The devil don't have free range to do what he want to do. He has to get permission from God. And so I just really thank God that he has the control over everything, because if it wasn't for God, I could have all of us could have been taken out of here through something. But I thank God for his spirit, for his Holy Spirit. This is why we need the Holy Spirit in this hour. I tell you guys, this is a year of exposure, exposure for the blessings and exposure for the people who don't want to turn their heart to God. You guys need to get right with God because we are truly in the end days and, and you're going to really see who God is truly standing with. All these big mega, mega preachers and big mega, mega pastors and stuff, they don't talk about anything that's controversial. If you look all in the Bible, there was a lot of things that Paul and everybody else that was talking in the Bible. It was all about controversial stuff. It was stuff that people didn't want to hear, but it was the truth. And so people think they can just live a Christianity, Christ, uh, Christian life and think they're not going to be canceled on certain levels. They don't think they're going to be persecuted for certain levels. It's going to happen. The Bible says you will be hated for my name's sake. But a lot of people want to keep believing that or oh, and, and I see a lot of I see a lot of Christians, even all on social media and different things like that. They 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 talk about, oh, you know, God bless me with a car. God bless me with the house. God will bless you with the uh, or with the, you know, some of that stuff. But where's the blessing of God woke me up? He got my I got my health and strength. I'm not in the hospital. Like where are there's so many ways that that God has blessed us daily and then this is the daily thing but the church has taught it if you don't have a new car if you don't have a new house you don't have a mansion you are not blessed 
There's folks out there with mansions. There's 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 there's, there's mega pra- uh, pastors with churches and 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 uh, big buildings and mansions and money and all this other stuff, but that are truly not happy because why they put their heart into those things. So now they don't have no peace because that have became their God. So at the end of the day, we need Jesus. And I, and I just thank God that I was able to call upon him to, to tell him, I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And that thing had to release me. It had to. And it became in my hand. God was letting me know you got to speak. You got to speak. We have the power. And then this is what the devil try to do. He tries to tire. He tries to make everybody weak and get everybody tired. So he used this sickness to try to get me tired, to get me to lack off so he can come in and do whatever he want. But I, I thank God that I caught on. I, th- I truly thank God that I truly caught on of what he was trying to do. And now I know the strategy. Now I know what I need to do. I need to pray more. I need to fast more. I need to get my word. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. The Bible said we all fall short of the glory of God. Nobody is perfect, period. So we, we're going to have times where we fall off in different things like that. But we can't stay there. We cannot stay there. We have to move forward. And we got to say, you got to ask, Lord, Lord, help me. I got to do better in this area. I know I'm capable of doing better. If I could take time doing this, take time doing that. Why can I take time to say a prayer? Why can I take time to read my word or read a little bit of scripture a day? Just start somewhere. And I'm and I'm totally guilty of that. But I believe it had to happen because God wanted to also to let me know, to let y'all know. And this was a, you know, more of a testimony. You know, God is healing me. And then, and then that's and then, and that also let me know too that God has really truly done healed me, you know, wherever this problem that I have going on. Because why he's why did he come after me like this? Why did the enemy come after me like this? So there's there is a spirit out there that's really trying to crush a lot of people to make them very weak and make them tired, whether it's uh anxiety or whatever, whatever you try to do to try to get you down. So then it has full range. To do what they, uh, the devil have the full range to do whatever he tries, you know, to do upon you. But you have to continue to stay in prayer, even when you feel like you're tired and stuff like that. Still get up, still, still get up on your knees, still pray, no matter what. We have to pray, no matter what. The Bible let us know we have to pray without ceasing. We have to keep going, no matter what, because there is an enemy out there that's trying to kill us, and this is only daily and a second. It's, it's always daily. We're always coming up against something daily. And we need the Holy Spirit in this hour. So I don't know who this is for. I don't know if anybody went through the same thing that I went through. I'm pretty sure, you know, some of the people I talked about, uh, not talked about, but talked to, they have went, to the same, went through the same thing. It's, it was an experience, but it was also a testimony uh, to, to get up on here to tell you guys, be more watchful. Stay in a place with God. This is why it's so important to stay in a place with God. Stay under his wings. Because you don't know how the enemy is going to try to come after you. You just don't know. But he can't, he can't take over you. He may try to come after you. But he can't take over you. Keep that in mind. Because why? You have the Holy Spirit operating through you. And when you call up on the name of Jesus. And I love that name. Jesus. Because something has to happen in the atmosphere. Something has to break loose off of your life when you call on Jesus. And not only that situation, but call up on Jesus when you're struggling. Call up on Jesus when you're going through depression. Call up on Jesus when you're going through grief. Call up on Jesus when everybody don't reject you and push to your side. Call up on Jesus. Always call up on the name of Jesus because something has to happen. And this is why I looked at the scripture where the, where the devil say, Paul, we know Jesus, we know. But who are you? You got a lot of people that claiming to be Christians and stuff. But when a fight comes, when a fight comes against them, they, they just back off. They just want to be done. And then you got to understand the enemy knows the enemy knows who is with the Lord and who's not. The enemy is able to, is good enough to discern that. So he knows when the Lord is upon you, uh, that the Lord is operating uh, within you. 
or not. He knows. But the people that are being that they are being attacked, those are the anointed ones. Those are the ones that are not going to bend. They're not going to fold. They're not going to compromise. Those are the one that's being on the target. But those are the ones that give motivational speak speeches and all this other stuff for the money, for the platform, for the views. They're not going to be messed with. But they'll be messed with at, in the afterlife if they don't repent and really do what God is telling them to do. Because they have created their own way. See, not Chris. Now, being a Christian is, is is almost like a business. Now, it's all about money. It's all about oh, let me try to get popular off of this. Let me try to get views and stuff like this. It's not about that stuff, man. It's about God's people. That's what it's all about. Because at the end of the day, He's coming to see where's the faith. He's coming to see who is real, who 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 didn't bend, who didn't fold. That's who He's coming back for. Will He look at you and say that you know you can come into the kingdom? Will you be picked up in the rapture? Will you be picked up? This is something to really think about because we are in the end days. You need to truly examine your life with the Lord and, and, and really see where you have went wrong and, and what, what came and distracted you from away from the Lord. You got to know, you know, even though I was going through this little sickness and stuff, you know, I, I know I should have been doing a little bit more, you know, Praying and stuff But when your body is just weak is weak But there's no excuse You have to still push through You have to still push through Because there's a When you're at your lowest point of your life Whether it's going through the body Whatever it's depression, anxiety, anything The enemy is always going to try to find a way to creep in And take advantage of you In your weak moments And so you have to truly be careful There's a python spirit out there That's trying to suffocate Every single Christian Because why So he can have full range of doing whatever he wants But once you But once you're in a place with God constantly Praying, stay in a place With the Lord He can't come against you He can't come where, nowhere near you So I hopefully Hopefully this is Blessing somebody But like I said even you know To myself You know even like down believers, you know, like down believers, they they live a, a, a very, you know, they always say blessed, but they live a successful life. Nothing comes their way, nothing like that. They live a successful life, but they're going to get they're going to be tormented at the end if they don't repent and turn to Jesus. And this is for eternity. This is forever. See, God's people, they go at the temporary uh <laughs> Temporary attacks and torment It's only temporary on this land But then we go to heaven Unbelievers They, they live a, a beautiful life So called beautiful life But they're going to be cast in like a fire for all eternity Which side Are you going to want to pick Because no matter what both sides are going to go through something I'd rather go through temporary In this life and still be with Jesus Christ Than living a 100% a, a successful life and then be thrown in the lake of fire for all eternity. It's something to truly, really think about. But I thank God. I thank God. Y'all don't understand. God is so good. I thank God. Because when I called up on him, he gave me, he, he, he just he just gave me the power in that moment. It, it got off my neck and then I was able to hold it in my hold the thing in my hand and I just cast it away. I just threw it, just cast it away because I called on open the name of Jesus. And I truly praise and I thank God. Please, y'all share this video, like this video, let this video get out, let it test the hearts of the people. This is the time where you need to stay close to God no matter what. Stick close to God. We got to stay connected to the vine. No matter what. Because we can't allow our weak moments to get the best of us. Because when we allow our weak moments to get the best of us. Then now the enemy has a full range to come and get us. And mess with us. So. So it was a lesson learned. But at the same time it was also a testimony. To get up on here and tell people. Be, be more watchful. And, and stay in a. Stay in a place with God But I'm going to put her uh, Her YouTube in, the, in my description You can check out her uh, 
her YouTube, or her videos. But this was definitely need to be talked about because I'm telling you guys, man, it was just a crazy dream. But I thank God. I thank God. This is why it's so important to have the Holy Spirit in this hour. This is why you see a lot of uh, anytime God got a big calling up on your life, you're going to experience stuff like this. You're going to. Because there's a there's a huge call and, and, it, and it, you're going to be known too. that's another thing you're going to be known. So you're going to experience stuff like this. But you got to understand who's backing you up. The Bible said, if God be before you, who can be against you? That's the Bible. And I just thank God for his love. So it's something to really think about. Thank y'all for the praise. Continue to, uh, to pray for me. Uh, I'm still, you know, I'm eating, you know, here and there and stuff. But pray for my strength. Pray for my strength in the Lord. Continue to pray for my strength. And uh, just strengthen the body. Strengthen, you know, uh, strength and energy to you know to read the word and all that stuff. Because we all get to a point where we get tired and stuff. So just just pray for my strength. That's if I can, if y'all can just pray for me for my strength. I totally appreciate that. And I'll continue to pray for you all. But love you. Y'all be blessed. And uh, I don't think I got anything else. But hopefully I'll probably be, you know, posting a little bit more soon. So like I said, I just want to get I just I just felt in my spirit. I just want to get up on here and really get this testimony to tell you guys what happened. But uh, God is still good. God is still he's merciful. He's still good. And trust me, if you're going through a lot of attacks and going through a lot in your body, God is, uh, is about to take you to a whole nother level. So you just stay, you just continue to remain patient, remain patient. And I've come to notice and, you know, looking all through social media, I don't see too many Christian, you know, channels or anything like that. People that are really given the word of God and not giving itchy ears like those people, these type of people. You don't see the, I don't see them all on Facebook algorithm, Instagram, algorithm, TikTok. I don't see them. It's like they're slowly starting to take all Christian platform channels. It's like they're slowly removing them from the algorithm. Now you're seeing more kids cussing, cussing their parents out and stuff like that. And parents up on there laughing and stuff. But that stuff is getting promoted. Folks gluttoning and eating in front of the camera. That's getting promoted more. Uh, what else? Because there's, there's a lot more stuff. Women's putting their bodies out there and that's getting promoted more. And it's just it's just it's just really crazy, man. It's just. It's it's crazy, but this is this is the time we're living in. You know, folks fighting and fighting one another and beefing with one another, and doing violence towards one another, doing these fire challenges and all this crazy stuff, harming each other. But that is getting promoted. But you don't get one. You don't get one video of the word of God. It goes to show you the time we're living in. We need to wake up, you guys. Love you. Y'all be blessed. Till next time, Jesus Christ name.